We are Nate and Allie of Better Together Adventures, and we want to encourage you to get outside and ride. So one of my Christmas presents was engine guards. Finally. Finally. Getting to installing them. After all that recall fiasco. Yeah, I would say you're right because we don't need to take off the farin. Yeah, because we this just is need bolt to, to here. take off the wind. What do they call that? A wind reflector or windshield, whatever down there. So that has to come off. This? Yeah. Because there's a bolt, I believe, underneath yeah. that. This is gonna probably bolt to that. And then that bolts right there. This bolts right there. Oh yep. beautiful. So yeah, real should be real easy installation. I hope so, because I don't see any instructions in it, <laughs> which is probably, oh, maybe there is. I speak turkey. Come on, come on, come on. But I can't read Turkish. <laughs> you speak that kind of turkey. <laughs> so that must be the center piece where these two would go together. It looks like a like a, some kind of a wrench, but that would go in there. And then this must bolt to something. Something somewhere. <laughs> we'll bolt it. We'll find some place for it. We'll hang it, hang it some uh, angel wings or something on it. Get you a biker bell. That sound. That sounds good. My understanding is that uh, I can't buy that myself. No, you're supposed to be gifted it. Kind of like a. Although I've got a bell on mine and I bought it myself, but I just bought it more for having a bell on it because it's also can be considered like a security, you know. Like we got a little casualty there. Get a little powder coating worn off. Oh dear. Nothing a little little black paint can't fix, I suppose. Yeah, that's character. Right there. Probably got chucked into the truck or the boat or the airplane or wherever it went. All right, yeah, that should be pretty simple. Maybe it clips in or something. Yeah, looks like it pops into some little holes back in there. I can see them through from here. So, I'll take these off. Yep, these just, see that just pops, that little knob pops into that hole. I think it's, yep, it's the same thing in the front. So this should just pop out. There. And we're just gonna, there's a, there's a little clip here holding the wiring for the O2 sensor. So we'll just set this up like this. We'll leave that on the ground because all we need is access to them bolts and that looks like we have it.
This one too close, is it? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder how far in that goes. Oh, just okay. that far. We need to be careful because here is a here is a spacer that it goes into. <clears throat> Keep it from squishing it. Yeah. That again keeps the frame from getting squished into the engine. And they're two different sizes, two different lengths. So the longer one goes in the front or the bottom, whichever you want to say it. Screwdriver or something to pry that up, and then uh, might have you hold that in place, kind of. Did I get you? Don't stab me with the screwdriver. <laughs> I don't think I stabbed you because the this oh, tank you did. this tank thing is in the way, isn't it? <laughs> no, you stabbed me. Do you have your finger up? Or... <laughs> How'd you get your finger? Because all the I way can up reach in there? in there. That's why I said I said hold on. got to go over that way. Yeah. Let me try to push it over here. There we go. Oh, there. Okay. Hold on. those hoses kind of out of the way with the fingers then we that might be enough that I can so if you guys are doing the install on this remember that spacer in there yeah will slide down Oop. but if you oh just like that get your hand in there to wiggle it around just Take your time and be patient with it. Okay, you got yep, it? Yep, I got it. All right, then let me, since I have that one, it's not threaded in, but okay. it's, it's sitting in there. And then this one, we got to get this spacer behind. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I've got it. I don't think that's allowing it to go in straight. We gotta wallow out that hole a little bit. How about pushing there? There. 
Let's go try the other side. Better than in the crap. Way better. Way better. You know the one that's going to fit is the one that has the dings all over it because the other one we're going to chip the powder coating all oh, over sure. it if we grind it out. So I'm going to sit back and see if these line up before I even attempt to put the bolts back in. Whoops. You don't want to squish that hose, do you? No, but I'm going to get it started and then I'm going to push it underneath it. Um, because when I put it over the top of it, I didn't like the way it was. It should go underneath. It looks like it's just a little vacuum canister for... Maybe for the fuel injection? I'm not sure. connects onto here. I had put it underneath originally and it kind of squished it a little bit so here we'll have it over the top there and it looks okay I think. You don't think it's stretched it out too much? Well it's got it stretched out a little bit but should be alright. Okay, if you could hold that on the front, please. I got it. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. And I just realized we're probably going to have to loosen that other side back up if this one goes on because we need to get that thing in the middle. The middle thing? Yeah. It might. Fingers crossed. It's looking like it might. There's nothing that I'd have to make. I'd have to make the bracket. I mean, which I've got the stuff to do it, but I'd have to make it come down and up because I'm assuming that it bolts onto that radiator mount right there just to give it a little bit more stability. But the bottom triple tree is in the way, so I'd have to make it come down and back up. And I don't think that's going to help anything anyway. So. As far as I'm concerned, we just cut that off, 
put the bolts in here to hold that together. I mean, I'm not going to be like crazy off-roading with it anyways. Right. You know, so it's, it's basically it's, just a... Uh, it's mainly for um, extra foot pegs and mounting auxiliary lights. Right. Yeah, let's do and it. And we'll save that piece. So if I need to extend it and if it seems like they're shaking or something, we'll... Yeah. We'll make another another bracket to go down and up. Well, that's the thing. Can we... I mean, if they're tight, they're, it's not going to shake apart. No, I mean, we, we, we need I mean, something to hold them together in here, though. So, I mean, I But could, I know, I mean, yeah, put that in. But couldn't you just, like, glue it in? Well, no, there's bolts in here that will hold oh, this. Oh, okay, okay. Plus the bolt that is supposed to go in here. Okay. I guess the other thing is just to put it in and not use it. No, because I don't want that flapping around. Well, it shouldn't once those are tightened up. See, you got you got these two set screws. They're pretty heavy. And those go in. There's a nut welded on the back of this. Okay. And they go into there. And so this goes into that nut in the back, and it tightens against this. So it's going to hold it wherever we put it. Okay. So if we want to leave this on for now. Uh, I'd rather cut it off. Take it off? Yeah, just in case something happens, it doesn't go through the radiator. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Too. <laughs> We won't tell anybody that you don't have metric ones. Mm -hmm. I thought I bought you metric. Oh no, I didn't. Not Allen wrenches. Well, maybe metric Allen wrenches need to be on your. Well, I have metric ones. The T-handle ones are metric, but they don't fit in these tight spaces like right. this. So. So you need little ones to fit in the tight spaces. Yeah, I'll get this thing till it's snug and then I'll use that other one that is metric and does fit correctly. Alright, I gotta get that little trim piece on the bottom back on. Two bolts and we're done. Good that looks really sharp. Job. That does look sharp. I like it. Oh wait, you gotta put your little GP composite. Yeah, I think we'll. Composite. <laughs> I think well, well, they go on there. Yeah, but I think we could find some other stickers to go on there, can't you? Walmart smiley face sticker? I, I would like smiley faces. Maybe not from Walmart, though. Maybe huh? not from Walmart. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm sure we can find something to put on there. Yeah. Anybody want to send me stickers to put on my. What are those called? These are called frame sliders. Well, that's what I call them. Some people call them crash bungs. Um, I like frame slider. That's a decent, uh, decent name for them. Yeah, I kind of prefer that over what crash bung. Bung? Like a bung hole? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna call them frame sliders. I'm gonna call them. Oh uh, shit, I just knocked that grommet out. Well, that ain't good. No, that ain't right. I'm gonna call them foot footrest. Yeah, if they're in the right spot. Yeah, we'll see. 
Put your feet up on them. And... Speaking of footrest, if anybody has any recommendation for some highway pegs. Yeah, let us know because I've never put any on like this. And, uh... And I guess, some I guess bigger the, foot pegs. I guess the question I have for the highway pegs is, is it worth spending the money for the, you know, the, the name brand ones? Or? Um, on the forum, they talk a lot about getting stuff from that AliExpress or whatever, AliExpress. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I never thought about even having them, but... I know when we went on that ride that I really wanted to stretch out my legs. Well, it blows you around, you know? So, And if you've got your feet on pegs up here, it's not much different than having them on pegs over there. No, I mean going from going from the foot pegs up there. Oh. Like I went to stretch out my leg and it was like I didn't feel safe doing it. Okay. Let's introduce you. Yeah. You know what you did. You are not supposed to dig holes, you silly boy. Look at that. Fat doggy. <laughs> Mommy loves you.